Hello there, you faithful few. And welcome back to GMS Adventures. Hi. Where the anticipation is gone, but the videos roll on. That's right, this is the first adventure video we have made since reaching 1,000 subscribers. So really quick, just wanna thank everybody who has subscribed over the years and has joined up on our channel, supported us, and uh, we really appreciate you and just wanna thank you. Check out that backdrop, is that beautiful or what? Yeah, we got up this morning and we headed out east through Indiana uh, into Ohio, passed by Cincinnati, went over the Ohio River and into the hills of Kentucky. And that is where we are now. So an old friend of mine has some property down here, just a little northeast of the Red River Gorge area. And he has built this cabin himself. And I will definitely show this off to you. It is fantastic. This is yet another different kind of adventure. So we're just out here Friday through Sunday here at his cabin. <clears throat> there is a fiddler's convention going on uh, at a nearby town. I think it's just like a music festival of sorts. So we're gonna check that out. And for this adventure, it's just myself and the Rugged Mountain siblings. I told uh, my friend we would clear this out tonight with a proper campfire. Also, he said the sky at night, as long as it's clear, is just pitch black and full of stars. So look forward to that. Maybe get you some pictures. Yeah. And look who's joined us. It's Mirf. Oh yeah, and Rugged Mountain Mystery. Don't you forget my dad. Well, there is the gorgeous cabin. And you can probably hear, we got a generator running back there. This is totally off grid. I uh, just got a generator and a uh, 1,000 gallon water tank here to have the creature comforts of a home. All that over there, of course, his property. And as we pan to the vista here, that entire ridge over there is his property as well. Here. What? Why are you always killing my shots, Mir? Would you sure? Well, we're kind of settled in uh, for the evening. I think we're gonna head in and cook up some dinner. Um, and then it's a Friday, and typically that means certain game for Rugged Mountain Mister and movies for Rugged Mountain Sister. And this is kind of a compromise of, you know, being out in nature and still getting electronics on a Friday night. Like I said, we'll eventually take you around this cabin. I think you just finished these steps here recently too, so. That's nice. fire lit up a little help from some lighter fluid all that grass in there was kind of damp it needed a little help to get going right beyond the fire we got the horizon there
And if you listen super close and I crank the volume, you might hear the infamous whippoorwills. Or you might just be hearing the generator. Yeah. Or a farting frog. <laughs> So while we were out here, sitting by the campfire, looking at the stars, I saw what I thought was just one satellite, but then I kept seeing more and more. And so we think that we just saw a series of equally spaced satellites called Starlink that were put up by Elon Musk, who yeah. founded the Tesla. Fun fact. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Georgie. <laughs> yeah, Starlink is the only thing that made sense. I mean, they were exactly spaced across, and it was just a line of satellites moving across. It was so cool. We are winding down for the evening. We enjoyed our fire, doing some night shots of the beautiful, clear, starry sky we had. So we've settled into the cabin for the night. A rugged mountain mister is down there getting some Nintendo playing in. And a rugged mountain sister is chilling in her futon bed watching Anastasia. So that's it for today. Not a whole lot went on, but uh, we are going to go to bed and get ready for the adventures that we have tomorrow. A good night. All right, faithful few, good morning. I just realized I haven't said good morning yet, only it's actually about noon. Uh, we all are up, kids are in there playing stuff again, but I thought I'd come out really quick and try and give you a, a super fast tour of this fantastic cabin. I'm gonna struggle to keep it brief. Start off in what we would call the backyard. Got that view, fire pit, and there is the cabin. This is made with primarily cedar, telephone poles. That's what the logs are. Of course, the chinking, got a uh, metal roof on it. Got a buried thousand gallon water tank here. Septic system, fingers running out that way. And then the deck is all the way around this. It is fantastic. I'll swing around to the side here and you can see there's actually a loft on the inside uh, on this end and you got a door right there and a deck to come out and sit or stand on. And uh, the only thing, he's not quite done with that yet. He's still got some railings to put on the ends. But other than that, you got your own private upper deck. And we'll swing around here to the front. You got two window air conditioning units running off of a generator. Right here, generator runs up, powers the box up there. Of course, couple four-wheelers to be able to get around quickly on this about 180 acres on one section and then about another 80 acres on another section so he's looking at about 260 acres down here the bags up there are to simulate hornets nests to keep wasps away he says it works that really is kind of all there is to show here on the outside did want to show the dovetailed corners. I don't know what you call this specifically, but looks like dovetails and he uh, chiseled these out by hand. Well, not with his hands, he used tools. Just I think like a hammer and chisel. Yeah. So before heading to the inside, something else I gotta show you back here. If you're interested in what that cabin looks like while it's being constructed, got something to show you. And 
not that I can wax eloquently about the construction of a log cabin, but some of the basics, you got your main logs here, obviously, kind of keep them in position with just some temporary bracing like this, got some blocks in between to help keep the spacing right for the chinking to go in later. And that's just that kind of white material that goes in between the two members. So he actually builds these cabins at his home back in Indiana and then transports them down here to Kentucky and puts them together. And one way he's able to do that is kind of a numbering system with all of the different members. So once it's built on his property, he uh, writes down on each member where it goes. And then after transporting it down here, just puts it all back together. So that is the guest house. Well, the generator finally ran out of fuel, so that's why it's a little quieter out here than usual. And it's gonna start getting a little warm in the old cabin. Mm -hmm. 